Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU Stad Manchester City 2, Man United 1. All over, the FA Cup is gone now. Manchester City uh, win the FA Cup and complete the double. Ilkay Gundogan is actually the hero. It's their second under Pep Guardiola, but there is one to go for them, the Champions League final. If they could win against Inter Milan, it's going to be a trouble for them, but disappointing for Manchester United. I'm really, really disappointed as a Manchester United fan. I mean, I thought I thought we can compete with them. I mean, you're looking at the result. It looks like we've competed with them because the result says 2-1. It's a close game. But in my eyes, I think the first half, they've dominated us completely. Well, uh, we, we were really lucky to get back into that, uh, to, to, to get back into the game in the first half. That penalty kick we got uh, in the first half. It's a handball. Yes, it is a penalty kick, but it was lucky, to be honest with you. We haven't really created anything in that first half against Manchester City. They've dominated ball position. They didn't miss a click a chance, but they've controlled the tempo of the game. They've controlled the game, uh, uh, and United just had no answers. Had no answers, but we were lucky. Like I said, we were lucky to get back into it. Halftime, 1-1. One, one, you thinking, okay, in the second half, let's get going. Let's get Marcus Rashford uh, get involved in the second half. Let's get... Jaden Sancho get involved in the second half, but that wasn't the case. Second half started, they did the same exact thing and they scored again uh, from set piece. Um, I believe it was De Bruyne who found Gundogan from outside the box. He hits the ball. I mean, to be honest with you, that ball was hit with low pace. I just, I just don't know how David De Gea did not make a save on that one. I just really, really don't know how he didn't save that, but. All in all, I mean, they deserve to win this game. They deserve to win this game. Uh, Garnacho came on. I believe he was the best player on the pitch. I mean, you're, th you're saying this looking at all the players that have started the game, the likes of Jaden Sancho, the likes of Rashford. They just did not cause any threat whatsoever in that back line of Manchester City. But the moment Garnacho came on for Ericsson, He's just caused them a lot of trouble, and we could have equalized at the end. I mean, at the end, we we hit the crossbar. Garnacho had a decent effort, just wide. We've we've had a couple of moments, I would say. I wouldn't say a big miss is like a a, a clear cut chance missed, but I would say big big moments for Manchester United to get back into it. But it wasn't to be. I can't complain now. I mean, we've lost the final. Uh, Jose Mourinho once said finals are not to be played finals are to be won and really didn't matter how we would uh, how we would have we would have won this game I mean if you're talking about deservingly we don't deserve to win this FA Cup final I think Manchester City deserved to win the FA Cup and let's not forget they haven't even played well they haven't even played well in this match this game like I said the result is close but they haven't even played well to win this game. And United were just, they were just shit. David De Gea, you could ask questions for that second goal. Uh, the defense was good. Varane and, uh, Varane and Lindelof, they did contain uh, Holland, if you want to say. But again, we conceded two. We conceded two in the game, uh, in this game. All goals came from outside the box. So you can't really blame the defenders. I mean, it came from outside the box. There's nothing you can do. One of them you can blame, maybe David De Gea, but the first goal is just 15 seconds in. That volley from Gundogan was just out of this world. I mean, nobody can save that. Nobody can save that. But uh, yeah, defense was okay. Midfielders, I'm really like, I'm, I'm disappointed with Ericsson today. I'm really disappointed and rightly so he was taken off for Garnacho in the second half, but he was just offering nothing i mean i look at casemiro and i look at fred they can actually protect the back for fred with that energy uh he recovering the ball but erickson was just walking around he wasn't doing anything he was just a passenger and he needed to be taken off in the first half but eric ten Hag stuck by him until 60 65 minutes until we lost by two goals to one i mean really he should have subbed him off he should have he should have subbed him on uh off, off uh, earlier than what it should be in my eyes he didn't offer us anything defensively he wasn't offering us anything uh, and the attack he wasn't finding passes I mean there was one uh, one incident that I remember Marcus Rashford was wide open and he could have passed the ball to him but he just 
you just didn't see him and he was off his game i mean Erickson was i don't know if, how much fit he is but he was just off his game today completely off his game today um the front four like i said didn't offer us anything bruno tried his best he did score from the penalty spot he tried his best to get us back into this game but it just wasn't to be it wasn't to be didn't see enough from Jaden sancho did not see enough from marcus rashford as well vehicles came in late mctominay came in late but they they offer they offer heights that's all they did i mean they didn't really offer us anything in the game but they offer heights and we could have scored at the end mctominay just nearly scored i think it hit the crossbar at the end but all in all like i said all in all i really don't think that uh we deserve to win uh, this game extra time maybe a draw game going into extra time it could have been maybe okay but in terms of fairness i'm telling you guys like manchester united don't don't deserve to win this cup and city deservingly won this game man of the match who do you think is your man of the match i think for if we if we have to pick it has to be gundogan but from manchester united i would have to go with bruno or ganacho man of the match but all in all it's another loss it's another loss we've lost we've lost a FA Cup final yet again I, I remember we lost an FA Cup final under Jose Mourinho as well I mean what is this with Manchester United I mean we used to just win a lot of finals but nowadays like we're not winning finals we're losing finals Ole Gunnar Solskjaer had lost the Europa League final it's just not looking good guys not looking good but next season just got to focus on next season now this the trophy is gone hopefully like Manchester City don't win the treble but we'll see we'll see about that on uh next weekend against Inter Milan but Manchester United if we want to close the gap on Manchester City next season we definitely need to buy four or five players I mean you look at the qualities they have on the bench today they're bringing in Foden they're bringing in quality players they can bring in Mars they can bring in a lot of quality players on the bench Alvarez didn't even play today I mean that's what we're going to be competing with next season that's what we're going to be competing uh, with next season so definitely Eric Ten Hag needs to be backed he needs to be backed in the summer uh, we have to let go of Sabitzer Vekholz all these useless loan players they need to go and Eriksen is not the answer as well we need another player that can help out Bruno Fernandes so that's the only way we can compete with Man City and with the likes of big teams like Real Madrid in the Champions League. We are through to the Champions League. So definitely a lot to need, a lot needs to improve. This doesn't mean Eric Ten Hag, Eric Ten Hag is a bad coach. I think we came far uh, this season. I thought we had a decent season. I know we lost a final. We, we just lost a final, a final, but I think we had a decent season. You're looking at our season, top four, we secured top four, we finished third. Uh, we we made it to two finals. We won the Carabao Cup. Uh, we were in the quarterfinals in the Europa League. So we did okay, given the circumstances we were going through. The Cristiano Ronaldo issue. There's a lot of issues. The Maguire issue. There's a lot of issues in this team. And Eric Ten Hag has done, has done well in my eyes uh, in this season. So I think I would give him, if you, if you ask me to rate the season, I would give him a B plus probably in this season. But next season, we need to be competing in the Premier League. We need to be competing in the Champions League. And in order for that to happen, like I said, the board needs to back him. The Glazers has to go. The new ownership has to back Eric Ten Hag and give him what he wants so we can compete with the big boys. But thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to the channel but yeah people disappointing disappointing that lost the final another final disappointing but take care i'll see you guys on the next one peace